this video, we're talking about um, two lines that are cut by a transversal. And we're not going to talk too much about what is or why is this is happening. We're just going to talk about the process and remind you of some of the key features of these types of problems. Uh, there are other videos that we do make, uh, that we, that I make, that, um, sorry, that um, actually cover the reasons about why this works. So what's happening? Well, we have two lines, L and K. Here they are. And they're cut, right? This other line crosses through them, and that's called the transversal. Trans, oops, transversal. And there are a lot of really useful properties that happen when you have a transversal cutting through two lines. One of them is that, if you look at this almost Z shape right here, is that this angle has to equal this one. And also, vertical angles are equal. So a vertical angle, like if you think about this X shape right here, we have two vertical angles right here and here as well, but any vertical angle is equal. So that, that leads us to a conclusion, I think, that if, if this vertical angle equals this one, and this angle equals here, well then it's true that this angle equals this one. Right? It's all, it's all equality. If this angle right here is equal to this one and that's equal to that, well then they're all equal to each other. So x plus 95 is our first angle. We know it's equal to 4x minus 10. So when this is a problem right here. We want to know, as part A says, what is the value of x? Well, um, my strategy will be to bring all the x's to, the, to this side over here and all the numbers to this side. So I'm going to start with addition and subtraction. I'm going to add 10 to both sides. That'll help me because it gets rid of this 10. Negative 10 plus 10, 0. So we have 4x equals what? 95 plus 10 is 105. So we have x plus 105 equals 4x. Now I want all my, my x's on this side. And before I multiply or divide, I'm still going to subtract. So I'm going to subtract my x's from both sides. And I get 105 because this is gone now. x minus x equals, well, 4x minus x is 3x. And then now we're almost done. Divide both sides by 3. I know that 3 goes into 90, 30 times, so this has got to be 35 because 105 is 15 bigger than 90, so 35 equals x, and that's our value. And all I did here was 3 times x divided by 3, those 3's cancel out. So I would say x is 35. Now they want to know what's the degrees and what do they measure in degrees of a, b, c. Where's a, b, c? Here's a, b, and c. Okay, so let's Let's actually label that the line tool. That'll help us a little bit. So, it's a little overkill here, but there it is. All right, that blue angle right there. Well, what do we know about that angle? Well, again, since we have a transversal right here, it's a straight line, I'm just thinking that, well, whatever this angle is, plus this angle, all together, they're on the same line, and lines have 180 degrees, so I can just add them. So x plus 95 plus y, I'll call that our mystery angle, have to equal 180. Well, we already, we already know what x is. It's 35. So we have 35 plus 95 plus y equals 180. 35 and 95 is 130. So 130 plus something equals 180. And then I just jump ahead, subtract 130 from both sides, and I get y equals 50. So y is a 50 degree angle. All right, the next problem 